Welcome back to AP Psychology in under three minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Intelligence, what a word. You might wonder, what does this word even mean? Oh boy, do I have a long video for you, my friend. Throughout history, people have tried to measure and define intelligence, but because of things like biases, nothing concrete was ever made. One of the original measures of intelligence was one mental measure by Charles Spearman called G. Literally, just the letter G. But once intelligence was realized to be more than just a single factor, thank you Howard Gardner, the whole G thing was mostly shoved aside. One of the early IQ, or intelligent quotient formulas derived, was this one on the screen. Needless to say, this formula is not used no more. Now in the present, for a test to matter, it has to follow something called good psychometrics. That means it has to be standardized, meaning everyone takes it in the same way, and it also must be valid and reliable. Speaking of which, why don't we really quickly talk about validity versus reliability. Reliability means a test consistently produces the same results when repeated, while validity means the test accurately measures what it's supposed to measure. Validity actually splits into two types. Construct validity, which checks if the test really measures the concept it claims to, and predictive validity, which checks if the test can actually forecast future performance. Also, a test must be culturally fair. That's because stereotype threat can make people do worse if they're reminded of a negative stereotype about their group, while stereotype lift can make people do better if they're reminded of a positive one. Now let's move on to the modern measure of IQ, which is measured by the standardized test we talked about before. The average IQ over the entire globe has actually increased quite a bit over time. This is known as the Flynn effect, and it is caused by increasing societal factors like a higher socioeconomic status, access to better healthcare, and better nutrition. Poverty, discrimination, and educational inequalities can negatively influence intelligence scores of individuals and societal groups around the world. It's also important to note that IQ scores vary more within groups than between groups. Now say that you want to join the military, or that cool new job you always wanted, or that college you always wanted to get into. In America, IQ tests have been used to limit access to all of those things. And yes, that also includes immigration. Alright, a few more things to go over. Achievement tests are a measure of what someone knows, while aptitude tests predict how well someone will do in the future. Now the mindsets. A fixed mindset is the belief that your intelligence is fixed from your birth and impossible to grow, while a growth mindset is the belief that you can learn new things through effort and participation. I'm sure you can guess which mindset makes a better human being. On the screen now are AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. I will. See you in the next one.